All right, so today I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this Asus Q550L. Um, so this is my personal laptop that I'm using. You're probably wondering why I'm not using some amazing laptop. It's because I don't really game much or anything. I used to have a gaming laptop, but I haven't been playing much on it. I let my brother borrow it and the video card fried, so it's not really worth using anymore. But anyways, so this is my personal laptop. So if you have questions on this one, I can actually open it up again and then show this. Um, but anyways, um, you will use a T5 screwdriver and you'll remove all the screws. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Once you remove those, you'll want to get um, underneath here. Um, the easiest way is probably with a suction cup. I just used my fingernails, but if you use a suction cup, you can kind of just pull it up. Okay, it doesn't really clip in that strong. You basically just, yeah, pull this up. Okay, once you do that, the back piece is a little tricky to remove. You do kind of have to kind of wiggle this around to kind of get it to come out. So just wiggle it and kind of pull it towards yourself, and that should release the clips, all right? I just recently opened it up and cleaned the dust out if you're wondering why it's not too dusty. I'm actually surprised that I haven't opened this in a very long time and the amount of dust that was in here was very little. So the fan design for this, I don't know, um, but it seems to work pretty well. So this does have like a dedicated graphics card, but it's so old that it's not that great. Um, but anyways, the, yeah, the design, they use two separate heat sinks to blow the air out which is kind of a nice design. Sometimes they'll combine the two heat sinks and then it kind of like just splits the heat between the two. Anyways, I'm gonna remove the battery first. So there are three screws it looks like. All right, the only thing I've done to this laptop is change the hard drive to an SSD. Um, when I first got it, I actually got it used from a customer that decided it wasn't worth it to change the hard drive because it was so old. Um, but anyways, the battery, once you get the three screws out, you just pop it up like this. And clean off some more dust. Right. This thing's pretty dusty in the battery area underneath. Okay, alright, so the battery, if you want a replacement, it's uh, here, C41, uh, N550. C41-N550, okay, so if you need to replace that, or you can just search the model number of the laptop and search battery, that usually works as well. All right, um, the type of RAM, this is DDR3, I believe. Um, all the stickers are gone, so I can't tell you what type of DDR3 memory or what speed, but it is DDR3, okay. So it looks like on this they put thermal pads and they took off the physical labels of the RAM itself so clean off the RAM okay again that doesn't hurt the RAM sticks I don't know some people get worried about it um, as long as you're you have yourself grounded so that you don't um, release some static electricity into the sticks of RAM you'll be okay so the sticks are golden so you can see like these parts sometimes see they'll get like some gross stuff on them, so I just kind of wipe them down. Okay. And I've never had a problem with this, so yeah. All right, so here we go. We got the um, keyboard backlight cable, so if you want to remove that, you can pull these little pieces forward, and then you can pull the cable out, and then you can put it back in. All right. Once you put the cable back in, push the clip back in place and it holds it same thing with the keyboard then you got the trackpad connector these you just flip this up and then you can pull that out I'm gonna leave it in place and then you got this connector here I'm not sure what that is let me um, take the speaker out so the speakers are all in the front here um, I kind of don't like that design because usually I'll have it like in my bed or something and usually the speakers will be covered or if it's like in your lap it'll basically block the sound but um yeah other than that let's see here so i will actually take everything out for you to see i don't know if my phone's gonna overheat hopefully not because i'm uploading several videos at the time 
All right, so to remove the speaker connector, you just get the wings, wiggle it out, and it'll pop up just like that. All right, so here you go, speaker bar removed. All right, so this looks like um, the cable for the LED board, so that's a separate cable just for that. The hard drive or the SSD, whatever you want to put in here, is a 2.5-inch SATA. You do have to remove this metal bracket that's holding the um, CD tray in place, so... You have to remove the one screw here and the two screws towards the top to remove this metal piece if you want to take out the hard drive. Okay, try and keep all the screws in order because they are different sizes, different shapes, different lengths. So you don't want to get them all mixed up. If you want to remove the CD drive, there's this one screw here. All right, once you remove that one screw, you can slide the CD tray out. All right, um, the keyboard is held in place with melted plastic, so if you need to replace the keyboard, you'd want to replace actually the whole top assembly. Uh-oh, my phone's overheating. All right, so I let my laptop actually sit in the freezer for a bit, so hopefully it's cold enough that it's not going to overheat. So again, um, I guess I went over most of the stuff. Um, the hard drive, if you want to remove it, there were three other screws. I removed those. You can flip this tab up. Once you remove all the screws and this bracket here, you can lift this whole tray up. Okay. Um, just be careful because you don't want to flex these cables too much. Um, this cable is attached to this. So I think before I never actually removed this cable because I didn't want to undo the glue. So what you can do is just grab the SATA cable connector and kind of pull this out. So just like that. So here you can see the SSD. It's really dusty in here as well. So let me clean that off. This SSD is actually pretty old. So maybe I'll want to upgrade it eventually. But um, yeah. So then you can see the USB and the SD card slot um, is here on a removable cable as well. So if you need to replace that, you can. All right, I'm gonna put the hard drive back in. All right, so what else do we got here? So we got the fan, there's two screws holding it. Um, and then I believe also this adhesive and there's adhesive underneath. I took the screws out and the fan didn't want to move from the heat sink assembly. So if you need to replace the fan, you most likely have to peel this up and then there's probably some tape holding it down underneath as well. So you will have to kind of peel that up. Um, so hopefully you won't have to replace the fan. This fan hasn't had any issues and I've had this laptop for several years, I think. Um, anyways, this connector here, same thing as the other ones. You just kind of wiggle it and you can pop it out. All right, that's the fan connector. So put it back, just line it back up. All right, and then you can pop it back down. Um, let's see what else. Um, I think I mentioned CPU, GPU, they're not replaceable. They're soldered to the board. So yeah, um, I haven't done anything with the heat sink. Uh, once you remove the battery, if I haven't mentioned, hold the power button for about 15 seconds, um, especially if you're gonna mess with the LCD cable. So the LCD cable or uh, LVDS cable, you remove it by, usually people will just pull this tab up, but I usually have a problem just pulling this tab. So what I do is I use my fingernail or a pry tool on this corner of the um, connector and I pop it up while I pull on it. All right, so it comes out just like that. If you need to replace the screen, you can take the screws out and replace that. Um, the, um, what do you call? The DC jack is soldered to the board, so it's not easy to replace. If you do break that, you will have to know how to solder, and you will have to be able to take the whole logic board out. You got the wireless card here. The two antennas, just like every other model, you just pull up from the tail to pop up the antenna, just like this, okay? And then the antenna will come out. Once you want to put it back, just make sure it's completely lined up again, and then push it straight down. Okay, just like that. So you got both the um, antenna wires. Then you got the power button board. It's a separate board as well with a cable that connects to the board, I believe underneath the wireless card. Um, I can take the wireless card out just to check. So the wireless card only has one screw. Then once you remove that, you can lift it up and then you can wiggle it back. So yes, the 
um, power button connector is underneath there. Okay, so we'll put the wireless card back in. Okay, we connect this. I don't know if I mentioned, there's the CMOS battery here or the BIOS or real-time clock battery. So if you want, you can remove that. If something's wrong with your BIOS, you can disconnect that and then make sure you took the other battery out. Just short the two pins. Uh, make sure the battery is disconnected when you short the pins, otherwise you'll just um, burn up this thing. All right, and then you can reset the BIOS that way. All right, and then there's a SSD slot here. This is for an M SATA um, SSD, I believe, um, but it's only for the short the short one that's about the size of like the wireless card. So just keep that in mind. You can put an SSD, um, a different SSD here, but those SSDs are a little bit hard to find and kind of expensive. So it's better if you just get a regular um, SATA, unless you want to have two hard drives in here for some reason. Um, another way to have two hard drives is you can get a um, replacement um, caddy for to replace this hard drive. I mean the CD drive, the optical drive, you can get a caddy that can hold another hard drive. So if you want two hard drives, you can do that. You can even have three hard drives. Um, I rarely use the CD drive. I actually use a USB CD drive now. Um, and I think this one actually died. So um, I don't have a ruler with me. Um, actually, let me check. I'll check the thickness of this drive for you. So hopefully it's still okay. It is still recording. So I'll check the thickness of this drive in case you want to get the uh, hard drive adapter. So this thing is, let's see, millimeters. So I think it's a 9.5 millimeter. So it's a 9.5 millimeter thickness. So if you want, you can get a 9.5 millimeter um, optical drive or they call it like second hard drive adapter um, so it'll look like the shape of the CD drive and it'll basically have a slot that you can put the hard drive in okay um, but I think that's pretty much all there is to this model let's see optical drive wireless uh, fan SSD yep I think we went over everything so yeah hopefully this video helped you if it did please like and subscribe because that'll help me uh, it also help others find these videos and thank you for watching um, to put it back you just basically do everything in reverse okay so it's not complicated just make sure to put everything back the same way that you took it back out and that's pretty much it I'll see you in the next one bye